This is the first video about teaching how to code in Vex IQ. In this video, we are going to be going over the basic classes. First, you're going to open up a new project inside of Vex IQ. If you do not have the app or web application open, please do so. Once you have created this project, label it as my first project. So I've opened the app and then I'm going to name it as my first project, my first project. Then click save, and if you're on a Mac, again, click save again. Now we will be going over the basics. First, you have the drivetrain class. This class is automatically created when you make the drivetrain object in your code. It contains all the necessary tools to properly use and upgrade your video. If you're interested in how to make a drivetrain, you can check out the next video in this course. Next, you have the motion class. All of your other objects that need to move, such as pneumatics, or motors that aren't connected to your drivetrain are in this category. Things such as setting up, coding movement in motors can all be done with the motion class. The third class is the sound class. If you want your robot to make certain sounds so that you know what code your robot is running, you can use the sound class. You can also use the screen class to do this as it will allow you to write personalized messages onto the Vex IQ brain screening. You can use the console class to write personalized messages onto the VEX code console right here. This right here is the VEX code console. Because my computer is not connected to the robot, it is showing this message. After the screen class, we have the controller class. The controller class allows you to code actions when certain things happen on your controller. Let's say I want my robot to play a doorbell ringing sound when I click a button on my controller. The controller class allows me to do that. Now we have the sensing class. This is where all your sensors lie, such as your gyroscope, color, bumper, touch LED, and all those other sensors will lie in this class. More than not, as a coder, you will be relying on this class the most. I'm skipping over the console class because this is also included inside of the screen class. Now you have your logic class. This is the class that allows your code to make decisions and choices. We will also be diving into depth into this class in the future. As of right now, just know that it allows your code to make decisions on its own. Finally, and also included in the logic class, we have um, maths and we have events. We also have variables involved in the logic class. Finally, you have the switch class. This class allows you to integrate block code and text code. We won't be worrying about this and not knowing it is not a huge deal. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and check out the next video on this playlist, which will be teaching you how to code a drivetrain.